I am Cash. Welcome to Cash Talks Football. This uh, game was a couple of weeks ago by the time this will get published on my channel because um, I really just kind of missed it. It was Burnley against Villa. Not much really to say for pick apart from the two teams in this because I think both teams are kind of lazy in their play and approach. And the reason why I didn't really get to it too, uh, too quickly is because I watched a bit of it. Um, so I thought I'd already done it. But uh, here we go. Let's just watch this casual midfield play here. Let's just... Uh, Let's just get into this. Look, it's a very, very sort of lackadaisical. Nothing really much is happening. Bosch, they're kind of pressuring, but no no one's trying to win the football, really. Bosch, but only got a lot of players around the ball. They're overcommitting, really. But it's um, it does look like very much of a training sort of game. Look, look, they're all stood there doing their jockeying in their little tall, tall stance, but no one's actually going towards the ball, which you seem, seem to get a lot of. And now Burnley, have, their line is too high because there's no real pressure on the ball. This is one of those things where people think that they're pressuring it, but they're not. They're stood there. Let's, let's just watch that again quickly. So you can see what I'm talking about. There's three of them. None of them are pressuring the ball. You see, there's four technically. They're all just stood there. Do you see what I mean? None of them are really putting any effort into the ball. They kind of just stood there. Uh, they're, they're back on their heels. That's when people say uh, players are back on their heels and they're not on their front foot going forward. That's the sort of ex uh, scenario they're trying to really describe to you. And then it's just a guy runs off and smashes the ball in it. Look, off he goes. Bosh. Defender's too slow. He's got a bit of pace on him, this wee lad. Honestly, this is a terrible touch. Keeper's out a bit too far. I'm not quite happy with that. I'd rather have the keeper further back and then arrive at this position, if that makes sense. Instead of he's backpedaling. Now he's made a bad first touch. Right, let's watch that again. Let's go back. Let's see. Let me show you what I mean. Right. So if the keeper's back where I wanted him, he's up too far forward. Look how far he is up here. Bosh. He's, right. He's up too far forward. Way too far, to be fair. And um, when he makes this bad first touch, it would be, the keeper would be coming forward to actually receive, to intercept the ball instead of going backwards. He's going backwards. So when that first touch, when that bad touch happens there, boom, the keeper now could have intercepted it if he's coming forward away from his goal, but he can't. There's two reasons there. One, because when they played that ball in, he was too high up. He was so far up forward out of his goal, for God knows what reason. His team didn't have solid possession of the ball. So uh, all these mistakes compounded. And then the guy on the, on the back post ends up tipping it in. Donk. There we go. Makes it 1-0. Let's get on to the next goal and see what we can find. Again, we've got this lackadaisical sort of um, midfield that don't really know what they're doing. I, I'm Burnley are quite off the pace in this game, to be fair. Right, if you look, you see their midfield line there. They're too far away from anyone to do anything. And the defensive line is... You can see that skew that I kind of drew there? They're not really with it. I don't know what you're doing out here, mate. Right? There better be a player behind you that's off screen that I can't see. Because otherwise you're absolutely useless. Let's play this forward a bit here. Bonf, no, there isn't. You're just bad at the football. Ball gets played in here. Split between the lines really easy. This guy's been asking for the ball. Now they've got an overload on this side here. The guy's facing, This guy's facing the complete night the wrong way. Doesn't know how to defend correctly. Right, look, look, he's facing his own goal. So what he should be doing is he's backtracking. He should be doing two things. Basically, his body needs to be the complete opposite direction. So if there's his shoulders, which they are now, instead of his head facing this way, his head needs to be facing this way. So we can see the ball, and then he can track the player. He can't do either of those things, and he's just running for no reason. Look, boom, now he has to turn and try to challenge instead of just running over to his left-hand side. It's too much time. All of a sudden, now he can cut him again. So this guy has basically done this. Watch how he's defended. He started facing this way. He's turned facing this way. Now he's gone back this way. If he was facing the correct way that way, he would have run this way and then just run back that way. Been easy for him. Terrible defending. Absolutely terrible. Let's see what happens next. We play the ball on. Bosch goes across. Little cut through pass here. Now everyone's panicking, chasing the ball. Left this complete gap over here. Let's see how number seven becomes free. This guy's tracking him, but he refuses to go with him. He refuses to go with him. See that little jump? And he starts running away for some reason. I'm running away from the player I'm marking. It's just terrible. Tap, tap, whack into the goal. No one in the belly defence knows what they're doing there. Everyone's getting pulled over. The space is all over. It's just, I don't even know where to start commentating, to be fair. Like, it's just its just too bad. Now, I think there's a reason why I didn't do this game. And uh, it's coming apparent. Here we go. Look at this defending again. This guy's got his arm up. He's not up line with his uh, team. So he's playing all these three on the back here online. Online. <laughs> on side. Um, all the time in the world, this guy here. Trying to charge down. No real pressure on the ball. Keeper goes to come for it. Oof. It's just bad communication. Quite frankly, I think Villa are in sixes and sevens here as well. It's not very good. This I like, though. This I like from the Burnley striker. Do you see he's already putting his hip in? He's already seen where the ball's coming down. He's taking control of the situation. He's done really well there, that young man there. Bump, take it and smashed it into the goal. That's a proper striker's goal, that. In the box. Already decided where he is. But look how much space he's got to do it. 
and that ball's coming down completely and utterly no one's really paying any attention as soon as that ball's headed he's so far off the guy at least this guy's good there he's got him you know nice and tight but not over here let's get on to that last goal i think it's the last goal and uh, let's get out of this video as fast as we here we go another ball straight into uh, burnley's midfield that's all over the place again this guy's actually trying to pressure the ball though but he's been done and the reason why he's been done is let's watch this this is a great coaching moment as he's running towards him right this guy's pretty much stationary waiting for the ball to come to him as he's running, all of his momentum is going to take him past the player. All the player's got to do is slowly turn with that ball, and he's going to beat him every time, and he does. Let's watch this. Dosh turns, beats him. Because the player's running, the defender is running to close down the space. See that? Dosh. He's done him. Really easy. Now, I do like this. He's trying to pull him back, but uh, quite frankly, I'd rather him play the game of football. If he actually did the thing right in the first place, he wouldn't have to try and foul him. But um, I think that's a testament to this coach. He doesn't know how to coach the football. Otherwise, they'd be a bit tighter on inside there. Right? Off we go. Bump. Playing away, knocks the ball through. Well done, wee man. Well done. But again, this guy was too busy looking at the ball and not tracking his runner. There's a problem when, when the runner's on the outside of you on this situation. He's got to get back as fast as he can. And he's not really interested in the ball because he knows the ball's going to be going to this guy if he's not back quick enough. And he's not. Simple ball back. Again, he's gone with the runner, which is fair. This man's completely free. They've just been pulled apart because they've got Villa's got more players full forward. Burnley don't know what they're doing. This guy's completely lost. He doesn't know whether to track this guy or help his teammate here. And he should have done one or the other. And he does, ne does neither. And literally, it's just a pass into the bottom corner. It's that simple. Burnley look like they're in trouble this year, boys. But uh, there we go. Let's get out of this video because it's, uh, it's awful all round. Thanks very much. I'll see you next time on Cash Talks the Football.